Na mimi ni driver ama supermarket attendant cabinet fitting ya mechanic customer service representative manager midwife Interesting fact about the term blue collar workers. This term was coined by an Iowa newspaper back in 1924 to describe the category of workers that work outside the office. What they wore to work were typically denims and chambray shirts. This was in contrast to office workers who back then wore white shirts and a tie to the office. The reason why we are working closely with the employers is because the productivity of your workers affects your bottom line. When your workers are not productive, your profitability is affected. It's only right that given the socio-economic constraints that we're faced with right now and the pressure, the financial pressure that we're faced with in the country, we come in to find solutions for our blue-collar workers. This could be those in the farm, large scale farms. This could be those in factories. This could be your typical security guard. So, before I got the accident, I was fine. I used to do everything on my own. After the accident, how I used to work things changed. Now that I could not move much, I could not do, I could not carry because most most of the time so hospitality needs your two hands your two legs and now that i had one i had to talk to my employer they were lenient enough they were nice to give me a position where i can work i can still project what i used to but then in a different way i can be productive to the company but in a different way Kwa majina ni William ndafanya kazi ya transport kupeleka watu airport to and fro na nimefanya kwa muda mrefu lakini iko na changamoto mingi juu saa zingine kama gari si yako so saa zingine ile pesa na mtu anapata haitoshi Majina naitwa Mesha Kotenza. Nimefanya job ya mechanic for 3 years. Nime save some pesa kiasi fulani hivi. Sometimes natumia nyumbani. Sometimes natumia bidii yangu hivyo. My name is Jane Mudoni Mwangi. I'm a supermarket attendant. I've been working for a while in a supermarket. So I'm paid monthly. When I get my salary, I just do my my basic needs like paying rent, food, and the rest I do say. Sometimes when the emergency comes, the money can finish. The other man you don't save. Salaried people, and especially the blue-collar workers, traditionally experience spending and transaction density around payday period. There's a lot of spend happening around that period of time. Now, for those without financial discipline, the more a chunk of their pay they can access, the more the whole is at risk. Thinking and spending in weekly chunks sort of narrows the tap through which money flows. It, before I, before before my, I landed into this situation because it, this is life that happened you know there's no one who plans for accidents there's no one who plans for this unfortunate before then i could easily plan myself because i knew i'm okay and i could whenever I, whatever i plan for will will wait until the end of the month but after i got sick after the the the, the, the hospitalization and everything after the accident you slept this day knowing very well you will wake up the following morning but the problem comes in you know you cannot move so you need an uber to take you somewhere you've woken up you are in pain you need an uber to take you to work 
something that you, you couldn't have planned for earlier. So these expenses, all these expenses need emergency money. And it's not like I want them. It's something that is imposed itself on me. Hi, my name is Lispa. I am a customer service representative. I have been doing this for the past three years. Um, basically trying to help myself in the process as I help the company. Uh, so normally get my pay at the end of the month. So we normally have a lot of financial emergencies in between the month and I'm forced to take bank loans or soft loans from cash apps just to sort out my financial agents, which is quite expensive considering that the interest rate in this, uh, from some of these institutions is quite high. Sometimes when I have a loan, rates are always good in a bid to catch a loan. Like if you jump to no go pa, you na pata iso retzals kaju. Then you kuje udai yo pesa na pata yo kipindu na yo pesa. Sa ina bidu na fanya. Ne zakuji yo anaske ne zakuji yo chikilio retzak. Ana. At Simles HR, productivity has always been our core, and that is reflected in our mission statement which is helping businesses be more productive and also, and also optimize their workforce. But the discussion so far has been about the employees themselves. How do we get them more productive? How do we improve their state of financial well-being and see how that impacts on productivity, their happiness and their drive and motivation uh, to do work? We have thought about a way to actually improve their well-being. One is scalability because the numbers are there for the low-income earner. Whatever the solution is, it has to be scalable. It has to be something that uh, you can use for 1,000 employees, 15,000, 50,000. Secondly, it also has to be accessible, not something they need uh, a drone or M1 chip laptop for, something they can easily access uh, from wherever they are. Uh, number three is it has to be affordable. It can't be something that they would rather go to their uh, a job woman or bring their father's birth certificate before they can access uh, such financial well-being. Then again, it also has to be secure. Everybody wants to be protected. They don't want uh, a solution that will involve them calling their family, defaming their name, but they still feel protected uh, and they feel secure. Bringing all these factors together, we've come up with a solution which uh, we are flagging out today and also led to our partnership with the Bill Amen and the Gate Foundation, which is called End Wage Access. End Wage Access creates a financial inclusion opportunity for blue collar workers who do not have access to financial products. And then there is the advantage of peace of mind, an opportunity to focus on the job. What about the advantages for the employer? First, there is the greater productivity and profitability. You can get <laughs> the value for what you're investing in your staff. Then there is reduced staff turnover. There is reduction in staff pilferage. And then there is also general cost reduction. Uh, the suit of the Financial Wellness App, which includes the end wage access and, uh, and also the short-term loan, is built on a platform or a system that is scalable, built on the latest cloud technology to ensure that the blue-collar workers get instant access to this financial wellness. Uh, I can boldly say at least over 100,000 hours has gone into building that app. So with End Wage Access, which is a, uh, a simple financial product which we've built into an application, uh, employees or low-income and our blue-collar workers would be able to access their income, the, uh, the income they've worked for. On, the, on any day of the month, the system will automatically calculate how, how long you've worked. So let's say today, which is the 18th of the month, you'll be able to access your salary up to the 18th because you worked for it. So it's not a loan. It's not a credit facility per se, just giving you access to the wages you earn because you worked for those days. In summary, the earned wage access product better manages employee cash flow. We have a lot of people who are in the same way. Maliza sita zangu, niwe na kigoja 
Mjamuzi kama nimesave hiyo inasaidia sana na nashukuru sana. I want to start a business and I have to save. First I have needs and my basic needs just like paying land. So if I can get other way to get the money that will be helpful to me because I'll not touch the money for the business. I don't have not to borrow from friends what so that I can get on with my needs and also to save. So I'm um, quite interested just to learn that I can be able to access funds being that this will be the, will, this will be the money that I've already earned for the particular part of the month. So this is quite interesting. It will help me out to avoid paying the high interest and then I can channel the, uh, that money to other needful things like um, paying for my insurance, uh, catering for my folks up country, paying for their medical um, emergencies. Get our money whenever we want them, especially for people who need money on a daily basis. Like someone like me, I'm on medication. I need money every now and then. So if I've worked for a certain amount of days, I would really use the money, maybe for medication, for physiotherapy. And this is your sweat. You've worked for it. It's something you've been doing. It's, it's, you've been there.